Welcome back to Hardwood Automotive and today we're working on the Golf. We're doing some window tint because I don't know if you can see but it's a bit of a fishbowl. You can see right for it. So we're gonna change that up, try and get a bit of a, a contrast going. We've actually never really done window tints before ever. We, uh, we've seen one two minute video on YouTube so now we're experts in this. So let's see how it goes. 25 quid off eBay. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. So guys, before we get into this video on our lovely red golf, please like, please subscribe, it really helps us out. So, this is going to show you how easy or hard, I suppose, window tinted new car actually is. Anyway, so the first thing they say to do is you have to cut out your pre-cut window tint. And hopefully, from what they said on their website or what they said on their little YouTube video, it looks very simple and easy. However, we've bought some squeegees from Halfords, which are actually meant for... Well, they're not squeegees. They're, yeah, exactly. Uh, they're, they're like epoxy... Body filler stuff. Yeah. Um, body filler spreaders. Let's just see how it goes. Let's just see how it goes. Hey guys, Chris Fix. Chris Fix, soapy water. So it's not actually alloy wheel cleaner anymore. And here we see a wild Alex wiping down his prey before inserting <laughs> the tint onto the car. <clears throat> uh, I wouldn't call you David Attenborough yet. Yeah, not quite. Alright, so step one, cleaning and getting your... I mean, I'm saying this like I've actually read the instructions. Well, we did watch a video, it's the same thing. Ah. This is the other one. So step one water on it. Step two, check it fits on the outside and it does. Yeah? Just about. I mean, it's going to be. Because it, I mean, you can't see it because it's going to be too dark, but is it where the dots are. Yeah. That's obviously what we need to get behind. So that looks right. So now we'll spray the inside, peel off that plastic and transfer it to the inside. That's the scary part. It seems so easy. We're going to need another camera. It seems so easy, doesn't it? Okay, so next step is to spray the inside. I'm a little bit worried for the leather, but we'll just... No, leather you can just wipe off. That's a good thing about leather. Okay, so we've got soapy water now here. Now... Let's, uh, let's move this stuff across. Oh, man, this is scary. This is very scary. Scary. Oh, very scary. Well, yeah, with the soapy water, it's not gonna stick straight away. Yeah. Well, that's what they say. Famous last words, eh? Oh, hang on, bro, what's that? What? It's on me. It's on the outside or inside? I don't know. It's on the outside. No, it's on the inside. Oh, good spot. Oh! It's all right. Oh, no. You got it? No. Well, I, need, I need more stick. So I can grab it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this looks like such a mission. Oh, bro, you just got to squeegee it. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to get it. I'm not going to lie. I think that's pretty decent. Well, wait till you squeegee first. Where did I put it? Wait, it's our other way. Oh! <laughs> I mean, that's just gone. That water's just gone. 
Where? Behind the trim. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh, oh. He's a professional, surely. Don't know about that, Jim. Bye, man. For the record, I've got no idea what I'm doing. How's that water coming back in there? Because it can't escape down the bottom, probably. <laughs> this is such a battle, <laughs> I can just see. Yeah, it's because I can't get the squeegee right to the bottom. So yeah. it's basically oh, hitting the rebound yeah. and coming back. I mean, at the end of the day, this is 25 quid on a 750 pound car. I, I can't see what it looks like from the outside yet because you going to have to wait for that. For your first time, I think. I mean, beginner's luck and all that, but yeah. Well, you, you're going to get better on the other two, aren't you? Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the boot. You're going to be working like upside down. Let's and see shit. what it looks like on the other side. So that's what it looks like this side. Oh, yeah, you can see it badly here. The, uh, these bits here. Yeah, just gotta, so just got to get them. But other than that, it looks pretty good, bro. It's not that dark. Well, it is dark, but it's not that bad. Yeah, here. I think it's one of those things where it's easy to get 80% of the way there. But that final 10% is where the professionals earn their money. Yeah, look here. Yeah. The thing is I'm pushing it to the bottom and then it's just coming back. Yeah, it's because the tint is like just off the bottom there. Oh, do we have a Stanley knife? Yeah. I need a standing knife. Right in the corner, you might be able to see there's just, it's just a little bit too long. That right there. So what's happening is that's basically acting as a barrier on the corner. So the, the squeegee can't push it past. Um, which probably means it needs to go up a tiny bit in reality, but yeah. says no way. Yeah, it's just getting stuck on those dots. Someone in the comments section will know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can always do it again for 25 quid, can't we? So, what were your thoughts of the first side then, Cameron, eh? Um, uh, a bit more oh. close. Yeah. Saw that one. Um, it was a, you've got to be very, you've got to have a lot of finesse. To be very careful. Yeah. Um, but it's not, it's not too bad, really. It's just that, that was my, you know, first time. You're never perfect on your first time and all that. Oh! What? Oh! Ah, oh, bug. Ah, oh, F. He's alright. Send it on here as well. This one's gone horrifically. Oh. Oh. 
It's atrocious. <laughs> yeah, so far, the rear ones are really not going very well at all. Maybe sometimes the professionals are needed. This is very bad. <laughs> oh, mate, this one just. Wait, can I put it on, sir? Oh! <laughs> That is awful. <laughs> There's a big bowl there. Take two. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to reuse this gun. Do we leave the rear off? And just order another one. Well, let's see how bad this looks. <laughs> Very. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, that looks worse on camera, actually. Yeah, but I haven't done this bit yet. Oh, yeah. Wait, have a look now. Nah, that's atrocious. How did it get worse? <laughs> Even that one's not that bad. Yeah. I mean, it was an success, but it's not really a failure. I just wanted to see how my rear window that was all. Considering that was 25 pounds as well. I'm pretty happy with that. A lot better, but the question is now, Cameron. Wheels, what are you saying? Are they going gut metal brick? I think they need to go gun metal brick. Well, see, if you look at my car, see, I really like the silver, but then you look at the Honda, and the gun metal suits that colour. But with the window tint. Is but right. will it suit this? I think now with the window tint, though, the rear wheel, the front wheel looks good. Well, actually, I suppose they're blackened a bit. I don't know. What I said to Alex this morning was these wheels are actually in pretty good condition. So I didn't want to just respray them because he wanted to re basically just repair them and respray them silver. But they're actually in pretty good condition. So if we're going to do it, we might as well change the colour. But I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. I don't want to go black. But we could go colour like this. Let us know. Especially if we fix this... Uh paintwork here in the rear quarter. Yeah, can you... That's just the wrong colour. Wait, if you get out the... Yeah, you can just about see it's... it's more, this, this is red and this is pink. I don't mm. think it's faded either. I think it's just genuinely... It's been red. resprayed because that is different to that and that. Yeah, yeah, that, that is in the bin. Literally in the bin. Well, we tried anyway. So, conclusion is pay 80 pounds for someone else to do it right guys so that is the end of today's video so in summary i think we could have done a better job with that window tint yeah that wasn't very good but it was only 25 pounds and we had no idea what we we're doing the rear looks quite good but as you can see from the boot there well it's got none in it because we took it out so i'm gonna have to go with a mismatch but you know this is 2021 maybe that's a new fashion but guys please subscribe please like We've got more videos coming soon. We've bought a new car, another one coming. So that's interesting. There's more work happening to the Golf and to the BMW, hopefully soon. If, finally. Uh, finally. Uh, and of course, our R cord over there, that's going to be having some work done on it. Obviously, the brakes are going to be finished on that. Baseline runs. Baseline runs. So, oh yeah, but we've got the Santa Bod video coming up mm -hmm. soon. So um, we're going to that in a couple of weeks. So yeah, loads of content coming, guys, and big things coming for the Honda soon. Big things coming for the Honda soon. So stay tuned. We will see you next time.